Welcome to the Essential Ideas of Milton Friedman. In a previous video, we explored Friedman's theory of the permanent income hypothesis, which helped explain how people's incomes and their expectations for future income influence their current spending. Permanent income is the amount a person reasonably expects to earn on a consistent, ongoing basis, and it affects their decisions to spend today. Friedman's insight into the nature of spending has profound implications for fiscal stabilization policies. These refer to government policies that are used to try to manage the economy, stimulating it when it slows and slowing it when it gets overheated. The generally accepted view before Friedman's work was that the government could introduce temporary measures to stimulate consumer spending to combat or even avoid a recession. The idea was that government could increase its own spending or transfer income to people directly on a temporary basis to provide people with additional income. People would then spend the extra money, creating economic activity that would stimulate additional spending and so on. This is referred to as the Keynesian multiplier and lies at the heart of stabilization policies. Friedman's permanent income hypothesis directly challenged this idea and the ability of the government to effectively stimulate consumer demand to manage economic downturns. As the previous video explained, if people interpret the additional income from the government as temporary, very little additional spending will actually occur. People will not adjust their spending unless the changes to their income are perceived as permanent and ongoing. What happens, though, if instead of temporarily increasing spending or cutting taxes, the government introduces a permanent increase in spending, perhaps a new income supplement for all lower and middle income people in the country? Friedman's permanent income hypothesis also tells us that the money for such permanent changes has to come from higher taxes to pay for this new transfer, either current taxes or future taxes through borrowing, and those higher taxes are paid by people. Friedman's insight is that there is a simultaneous stimulus in the form of the new transfer that is offset by the dampening effect of the new taxes. At the end of the day, Friedman argued there would be very little effect from such policies. Friedman's insight regarding people's spending behavior and its relationship to their perceived levels of permanent income continues to challenge the policy prescriptions offered by many economists in terms of how governments can manage economic ups and downs. For more information, visit EssentialMiltonFriedman.org. And for information on other essential scholars, visit EssentialScholars.org.